Okay. So, in my last video, I showed you and introduced you to the Arduino Noise Toy Synth, but who wants to hear me talk in one video? So, what I did was I am shooting two videos, one where I actually explain it. Alright, so, my Arduino Uno. Speaker. Use a little nice speaker. Power supply and battery. And my shield. I made this myself. I will figure out how to post instructions. <clears throat> so basically what I have here is a shield that I cut myself. I cut into a small a small rectangle. And then I cut off this part and this part. As well as that part. And you'll find out why in a second. But what I did was I took headers. If you notice, there's a short side and a long side on most headers. Took the short side and pushed it down further so that this long side would have more. Would be longer. Then I soldered it to the bottom of a PCB. Now, I realized that it would cause an elevation, but what can I do? A solder will, would not allow the full header to get in, but what else can I do? Now, I need another side just for stabilization, but I need to solder that as well, so... Now, I modeled this shield after this shield. Kind of looked the same, except I cut out this corner and made that corner square. So this is professional made. It has words. It is not perf board. It is elevated because this is a double-sided PCB. Unfortunately, perf board is not double-sided in some areas. So, basically, this noise toy synth has two buttons. I don't know how to explain it to you. Just push the buttons back and forth. So, push it in. It fits very nicely. You may have noticed I drew, drew these two lines. I can't solder here because, well, it hit the 80 mega, so I don't want it to touch the 80 mega chip. The, the file I'm running right now is Metroid from Loud Objects Noise Toy Library. Very cool. And I ordered a noise toy synth, but I decided I can't wait. I need the synth. So I then figured out that it would work with Arduino, and I booted it up to the IDE and found it actually worked by compiling it. And then I hit upload, and I uploaded it. And then one by one, using two wires and a speaker, not this one, but a 8-ohm speaker, such as this one, I connected to ground in each one until I got a sound. I got a sound on pins 10 and 11. I after, later later I realized on digital pin 10, it it had a smaller output than on digital pin 11. So suggestion use digital pin 11. Okay, so then I had a pin to ground and a wire until I found a switch. After I found one switch. I just kept going until I found another. It turned out to be pins 8 and pin 9. So, if you're building this, one switch will go to pin 8, one switch will go to pin 9, and then the two other leads to ground. I have a breadboard version of it right here. And so, just to model it, this blue wire will go to ground. This is the lead of one switch. Now, I junctioned the two grounds so that I wouldn't have to have two ground wires, but I still need two. I just had one short and one long at the, at the time. One lead of the switch will go to pin 8. The other will go to pin 9. Then I'll take my speaker. This is a 3-watt speaker. I don't know if the Arduino can handle it, so let's figure out. But, so I'm going to go to 5 volts opposed to ground. You don't need to do so, but... And then... Wires are connected. Then I get my power supply. Power up the battery. Turn it on.
Hmm, seemed to disconnect. Let's... Okay, so that's that. Just, now, you can connect your speaker pins to 11 or 12. Pin 10 gives a small output, pin 11 gives a loud output, and pin 12 just is a copycat of 11. Now, why would you need two pins to output? Because the speaker is not stereo, I wouldn't need two pins. It only takes an input from one sound. However, if this... If I did have a pair of headphones, then I would need to have two sounds to make it appear in both ears. So why don't we try that right now? I need to find a pair of headphones. Phones connected to the adapter. Next, I will just try to see if I can hear sound on both on pins eleven and twelve. Spin around thirteen, twelve, uh, eleven. And since I marked my header, and then the ground, Just see if we can get sound output on both ears. Yep, we're getting stereo. Very loud, definitely. Now, I'm just gonna try my shield, see if I can get stereo as well. Now, this is only connected to pin 11, so. Stereo. So that's my Arduino noise toy shield from Loud Objects. Wait, no, hold on. It's not from Loud Objects. I made this. The design is from Loud Objects. Better. That's not cool. 